That's the power of the canvas of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> if um someone is they've obviously listened to this podcast, they're thinking, oh what a great idea what investing is. Leo has inspired me to start investing. Where can they start? What what platforms, what what things can they use to start investing? All depends on what you like, really. Isn't it? Like literally there's loads of platforms platforms but the one i usually recommend people to use because i just kind of just trust them and the, and they're from bristol as well um is hackers lansdowne and i usually, i trust them because i like a friend recommended to me and i've like i've been there before and like um and it's like being in the building whatever and it's, it's and they're really like really good company that like, they're usually very helpful in terms of like getting your money out they don't really try it but like all they are, they should, they should just start a platform where you buy, which you to buy your stocks, get into the, to like um the the first one hundred or and NYC, that kind of stuff. But like yeah, they're really good things to use. Or you can use um. IG trading, that's one of the other ones I use as well. That that doesn't require like a minimum fee to join in. But yeah, that's what I use yeah. Um, right. So it's, so roughing up. Is there any other financial advice you would give people? Like, ooh, that's a good one. Like the consensus going forward from now on is going to be to save money, really. That's what, that's what companies are going to be telling you. Key governments are going to be telling you. Governments will tell you to spend money because government wants to kick up the, the economy. But the likelihood is people are going to save money because people aren't really, people are getting pay cuts. Um, people are getting, losing their jobs. You know, right now they reported there was another additional 600,000 people unemployed, filed an unemployment rate. But that's just people who are on furlough. That doesn't mean these people have a job after after they come out after they come out of thingy, after after they come out of um what do you call it lockdown because uh what what's happening right now is like um is like um a lot of companies are are basically bankrupt and gonna 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 flop. But because of furlough and government schemes and stuff like that, they're just keeping afloat to give to give people money so people can spend. So like my financial advice to people would be to definitely save. If you're smart, maybe invest into some into some things. Like if if you've got spare cash around, don't leave into into the into the bank because what's probably gonna happen is maybe it's gonna be hyperinflation. It's gonna happen. So that means your ten, your five thousand, two thousand, you have in your bank account. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean by that? So hyperinflation is when the basically the government right because what's what's happening right now is I explained to you. So the government right now is basically borrowing money from people, right? So borrowing money from banks, um, central banks, or, and the kind of interest rates, all that kind of stuff, right? So the money the government is giving to people comes from somewhere. They, just, they can't just make it up. It has to make sense. So what happens is, um, what's going to happen is they're going to start printing printing money, right? Okay. Isn't so, that what like Germany did back in the day? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So what they're doing, what, what they're going to try to do, they're going to try to print, look, not too much money or... They'll try to print some some money to make people spend money because what they want to do so like they want people to spend money to rebuild the economy so people can go out there and then obviously if you have excess money you spend it you know buying stuff going to going out with your friends buying clothes that kind of stuff or like etc so when that kind of stuff happens that kind of stuff happens it's good for the economy so what's happening is that your your one thousand pounds might then be worth as much value as like nine hundred pounds. So, for example, is, is, do you know how things have gone expensive? For example, you, you could buy a Fredo for fifteen p now twenty five p. Like, it's, it's Fredo is still the same value, but just gone up because of inflation. Like, it's the same way. Like back in the day, you got out of ten pounds, but now you need like twenty pounds, something thirty pounds because things are going up because of inflation. So your money becomes you. You still have your money, but it becomes less because your things you're buying but if you get into investing or whatever of course you face the same risk of your of your stock prices going down but at least you know like if things if they're going up your money keeps up with the with the economy so example if you like if for example if 1000 there's inflation and you invest in 1000 your 1000 will remain 1000 because because like your stock prices will go up even if inflation goes up your stock, your stock prices go up because you traded internationally so other so it's like a it's like a, it's a completely different to 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 to, to, current, to like to like a to like a country's economy and stuff like that 
So that's what that's what I say investing money because it's a good way of making sure your your money is doing something. Because what banks usually do, they as I said before, like your banks take your money to invest or loan to other people. So banks are, are buying stuff with your money, owning companies with your money, and you and they're giving you something of like a, what is it like no point not point three percent APR. So you're better off investing the money yourself because the government are going to invest it anyway. I mean, the banks are going to invest it anyway, but you're not seeing the profits. <laughs> yeah, you need cheap change basically for because they're probably getting like something like 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 um eight percent, but from like um from your money and giving you not point three percent. But the thing is, by what banks offer is security because banks offer security saying, oh yeah, like your, like um, because banks take their risks. But then like it's still, it's still the same way because if you look at it, if for example the two thousand eight crisis crisis that happened was due to Goldman Sachs had their um their stock prices and their borrowing money they were giving people went down. That's the reason why a lot of um a lot of um there was a massive like um not Goldman Sachs I think it was I can't remember it was. I'm not going to, I think it was some, someone else, but they basically gave up money and then they were basically doing trading, whatever, investing their money. And then a few of their trading went basically bad. And then all the people that had banked with them, had millions in them, basically got like something like 100,000.